In this lesson, I will show you how to track WP form submissions with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Here I have a demo page where WP form is implemented. Also on this website, I have installed a Google Tag Manager container. And in this container is installed a basic setup of GA4. Basically, I just have one tag, which is Google Tag or also known as GA4 config tag. And here I have inserted the GA4 measurement ID. This tag is set to fire on initialization all pages. So the form tracking method depends on what happens after the form is successfully submitted. You can check that by going to the page where you have WP form, then fill in all the fields and then click submit. If the success message appears without the page reload, we're going to use an Ajax based tracking method. And if the page does reload, then we are going to use another method. So in my case, the page did not reload and the success message just appeared. This means that in the settings of that WP form, Ajax form submission feature is enabled. Below this video, you will find a link to an article that explains how to track Ajax forms, because this is exactly what I am dealing with right here. After you click that link, scroll down until you find the code. Copy the entire code and then Go to Google Tag Manager. In Tags, click New, Tag Configuration, then select Custom HTML Tag and paste the code. Set this tag to fire on all pages or you can create a more specific trigger where your tag will fire only on those pages where WP forms are embedded. Then let's name this tag and save it. Now let's test if this is working. So click Preview. Then here you will need to enter the URL of the page where your WP form is embedded. Then click connect and a new tab or a new window will open. Now let's submit the form and see if Google Tag Manager is capable of identifying when the form is submitted. Click submit and here we have the Ajax complete event. If I click it and I expand it, I will see that I have response. It says success true and also we have some confirmation. However, we don't see anything right here. If I try to submit the form, but I leave certain required fields empty and click submit, then another Ajax complete event will not appear. However, maybe your website uses more elements with Ajax, which means that if we are just looking for success true, we might get some false positives because maybe some other element on a website also returns the same success. So we could make our tracking more precise and send event to Google Analytics only when Ajax complete is coming just from the WP form. However, there is a problem. We don't see anything related to WP forms right here. We have the confirmation, but it is empty. Although in reality, it actually is not empty. If I go to the website and I submit the form again, this time I do it properly and I click submit, the success message will appear. Now, if I open developer tools and then go to console, here I can clear it and then enter data layer with the uppercase L. Then I expand this and I find the Ajax complete event. I can expand it. I see the attributes. I expand that, then response. And here I see success, which is true, but also I see data. And inside that data, we have the confirmation, which contains some success message. It is not just text, but it also contains WP forms. So basically we could tell Google Tech Manager that we want to track form submissions only then when Ajax complete event appears in the data layer, which is right here, event Ajax complete. But we also want to make sure that the confirmation contains WP forms confirmation. So even though the value of the confirmation is not visible here, it is actually available on the page. So let's create a data layer variable for this confirmation. I will go to Google Tech Manager, variables, then new variable configuration, and data layer variable. Here I will need to enter the key that I want to access and this is it. So I need to enter attributes dot response dot data dot confirmation because as you can see there is some structure. There are parent parameters, child parameters, therefore we have to drill down. So I will enter attributes response then let me check again dot data dot confirmation and then I can save this variable like this. Click Save. Now let's test if this variable is working. So I will click Preview. This will refresh the preview mode. We'll refresh the page as well. And now I will submit the form again. Click Submit. 
And if I go to the preview mode, I click Ajax complete, I go to variables, I will see that my data layer variable now contains that text. So the next step is to create a trigger in Google Tag Manager, because later we will create a Google Analytics 4 event tag that will fire only on successful WP form Ajax complete events. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, triggers, new trigger configuration, and then custom event. Here we have to enter exactly this, Ajax complete, because that's the name of the event right here. And we want to make that trigger more precise. We will be looking only for those Ajax complete events where this variable contains WP forms confirmation. So I will copy this and then update the trigger. Click some custom events and then this variable must contain this. And then let's name this trigger and then click save. The final step is to create a tag that will send an event every time the form is successfully submitted. Let's go to tags, new, tag configuration, GA4 event. And then here I have to paste the measurement ID of my GA4 property. I can do that by going to analytics, then admin, data streams, select website data stream, and then copy this measurement ID. Then paste it here. And then here we can name this, let's say form submission. This will be the event name that is sent to Google Analytics 4. And then in the triggering, we will click Ajax complete. Finally, let's name this tag and click save. Let's test if this is working. Click preview. Then let's go to the website, submit the form, and then let's go to the preview mode. Here I will see the Ajax complete event. I will click it and I see that the tag has fired. Then I can go to analytics. In the admin, I go to data display and debug view. And here I will see the form submission event. If I click that event, I will also see things such as page location because Google Analytics automatically tracks the URL of the page where the form was submitted. If you want, we can take this even one step further because for example here, when the form is submitted in the variables part, while the Ajax complete is selected, we have this data layer variable and it contains the form ID. If I submitted a different form, then the ID right here would have been also different. Below this video, you will find a link to GitHub. And this is a little piece of code that we can use and it will extract the form ID. So copy this code, then go to Google Tag Manager, variables, then new variable configuration, custom JavaScript, and then paste this code. You must replace this part with the data layer variable that accesses the confirmation. We already have this variable. So I will just remove this part and then start typing two curly braces and then select my data layer variable. I can also remove this comment. And basically this code will take that text. It will be looking for the WP forms confirmation and some number and it will take this number. So let's name this variable and then click save. Now we can send the form ID together with the form submission event to Google Analytics 4. I can do that by going to tags, then open my GA4 event tag. And then here I will add an additional event parameter and I can call it, let's say form ID. Here I can insert that custom JavaScript variable. Let's save this tag and let's test again. Click preview. And then I will submit the form, click submit here. And if I go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, I click Ajax complete and I go to variables, you will see that my variable contains this value. And if I go to Google Analytics debug view, here I will close this event, I should get a new form submission event. And if I click it, I will see that form ID is also present. Right now when I'm recording this video, form ID is not available as a built in dimension in Google Analytics 4, therefore you will need to create a custom event scoped dimension for this. You can do that by going to admin, then custom definitions. In the custom dimension section, click create custom dimension and then enter form ID, keep the scope as event and then enter form ID right here and then save it. I'm getting this error because I already have that custom dimension created in the property. So after you do this and then you publish your Google Tag Manager changes, you will need to wait for 24 hours. 
you will need to get some real form submissions and then you will be able to see that data in your Google Analytics 4 reports. Now let's take a look at another scenario where you submit the form and it reloads the page. This means that in the settings of the form, Ajax is disabled. In this case, if you want to track form submissions just with Google Analytics 4, then the good news is that GA4 can track WP forms automatically. Let me show you. Here I have a WP form. Here I am on the website, so I will submit it and click Submit. Here, if I go to the debug view of Google Analytics, you will see the form start event. So this appears automatically. And then form submit will also appear. If I click it, here I will find several parameters, for example, form ID. And as you can see, this also contains that same ID that I showed in the Ajax form tracking example. So the built-in form tracking in GA4 can track WP forms if they are not using Ajax. If they are using Ajax, then you will need to use Google Tech Manager and do some additional stuff. So this form tracking is available because in the admin and then data streams, and then I select data stream, here enhanced measurement is enabled and inside of it, form interactions are enabled. So even though usually I don't use form interactions, in the case of WP forms, that is actually working. So if this solution applies to you, then you will also need to register the form ID custom dimension if you want to use that in your reports. And from the previous example, I have already done that because in the custom definitions, I have the form ID right here. However, the drawback of the built-in form interaction tracking is that GA4 might start tracking elements on the website, for example, search field on your site, and maybe you don't want to do that. Or maybe there are some other forms built with other plugins, and this feature is tracking even unsuccessful submissions of those forms. So if you're having mixed results with the built-in tracking in GA4, you can disable it, and now I will show you how to build your own form tracking with Google Tag Manager. So I will disable this, click Save, and then let's go to Google Tag Manager. The non-Ajax WP form can be tracked with the built-in form submission trigger in Google Tag Manager. So let's go to Triggers, then click New, Trigger Configuration, and then click Form Submission. For now, let's keep these settings as they are, and then let's name this Trigger. Let's click Save and test if this is working. So click Preview. And then I will go to the website and submit the form. I see the success message and here I see the form submit event. Also in my Google Tag Manager containers, the variables section, I have enabled the form related variables. If you haven't done that yet, then do so. And if I go to the preview mode, select the form submit and go to variables, I will see some interesting values. For example, I have form ID. So when the form is submitted, I could send this as the form ID to GA4. Now let's do another test. I will refresh the page and I will submit the form, but I will leave one required field empty. Let's click Submit. I get the error and then I go to Preview Mode and here I don't see the form submit event, which is correct because the form was not successfully submitted. Your goal here is to make sure that the form submit event appears only when the form is submitted successfully. So now let's go to Google Tag Manager triggers and make our form submission trigger a bit more precise because right now it will track all forms, but maybe there are some forms on the page that I don't want to track. Therefore, I will go to some forms, then select form ID and form ID in this case must contain WP forms. This means that the trigger will be looking only at WP forms. So here I will enter WP forms, all lowercase then maybe I should rename the trigger as well and click Save. Finally, let's go to Tags and then create a new GA4 event tag that will send the form submission event. So in the measurement ID, I will copy this and paste it right here. Then I can name this event and I can also send an additional form ID parameter and its value will be the form ID variable. So I will click this button to insert the variable and I select the variable. Then let's scroll down and in the triggering, let's click form submission and let's name this tag like that. By the way, before I started configuring this, I deleted all the previous Ajax related things, variables, triggers, and the GA4 event tag. So basically I'm almost starting from scratch in this case. Now let's test if this is working, click preview. 
then let's submit the form click submit and i see that form submit event happened my tag fired if i go to the debug view of google analytics 4 i will see the form submission event and here i have the form id in this case you will also need to register a form id custom dimension if you have already done that then it's okay because in the ajax example I already had that form ID custom dimension, which is event scoped right here. And the cool thing about creating this kind of setup is that you can later use this same trigger for other tags. For example, maybe you want to send a conversion to Facebook. In that case, use the same trigger and create a Facebook pixel tag, or as it is called right now, meta pixel tag. So once everything is tested, you will need to publish your changes by clicking the submit button then wait for 24 hours and after that you will start seeing your form submission data in google analytics 4. and that is how you can track wp form submissions with google tag manager and google analytics 4. if you found this video useful hit the like button below the video that will help me understand what videos do you like and what should i create in the future also if you want to learn more about google tag manager or ga4 then subscribe to my channel my name is julius this is analytics mania and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.